Ah, this is the place where this we put the camera. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it looks so different. Crazy, it's here. That's how the forest looks like after we flooded it. It's supposed to be a flat plain forest, which normally floods and recedes as a part of natural cycle. This process is vital for a variety of species, which use it as a feeding grounds and nursery. But for one specific reason, for the last 30 years it was completely dry. So we decided to flood it manually. gonna connect this part it's there right now we're digging canal to flood the forest that's just one of the many canals Slovakian organization bros had done in the last years we dig canal up to this point and then the water is gonna disperse all around here in this area and that's basically to bring water to this very dry area to enrich biodiversity around. And we also put the pipe under because otherwise it will block the forest road. This is Gapchikovo water dam near Bratislava, which divert the new river into this artificially made channel. It takes most of the water and feeds it into the hydropower plant here. That's the natural ways of the new. And this area practically doesn't get any water anymore. So, the water taken to generate electricity and not to flood the forest. To help to compensate the loss of natural river dynamics and natural flooding, Bros managed to organize simulated floods, which happens every spring and summer. Okay, let's get some water in. in the canal which just a few hours ago was completely empty and two days ago it was just forest but interesting when you look back there the water seems stand still but as soon as we dig the canal and connected it with the water you can see how powerful is the stream So this is how the natural flooded forest looks like. All of these streams here and dispersion is completely natural. So we got the channel back there, but here all around me, you know, water finding its own ways. And it's, it's very beautiful. Completely wild forest and uh, hope to find some wildlife here as well. This is the last day of the flood and what we are seeing around us is peak water levels. This is the most water that we'll get this spring in our forest and from tomorrow the volume will start decreasing but uh, we hope that the, the water in our forest will retain for some time. So Lukas decided to try and dig a small channel to bring some more water in the background where the weed is growing because the TMR map showed that the elevation is a bit lower there. So yeah, he's just trying to see if he can get some more water in. And in some places it gets quite deep. Also, look here, the water up to my torso. Um, can you get ah, this is the place where this we put the camera. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it looks so different. I was, I was thinking we were like, I don't know where. Crazy, it's here. I was so surprised and excited because three weeks ago I was in very the same place and there was not a single drop of water. We left camera trap here 
and you can see how the water elevated. Also, together with the water comes wildlife. Amphibians, snails, snakes, lizard, birds, insects, deer, ducks, beavers and much more. Have a look at this. And it's quite unique experience, I would say. I've never been in such places and it's amazing to see completely different ecosystem here. Now we are just makes all the points where we can see where we are and how high we are. We see how the water drops. The water is not in the same level because it's like still going down. Some of the water just get into the soil. So it's uh, disappearing, let's say. So now we can make all the points around and see if the water reach all the area which, which could. And if not, then next year we can dig some more channels and connect these areas. After a long day, it's quite nice to have a little rest and cook dinner by the campfire. Since the Gabishkova dam was built, it was agreed that as a compensation they have to do manual floods themselves. But they never did it for the last 30 years. And the whole area just dried out. Also, it was drained on purpose to open up more space for three plantations to sell timber. At the same time, another little hydropower was built near, which cannot operate if there are too much volume of water, and during such floods they have to stop it. As usually, profit goes above the nature and wildlife. I deeply respect everyone from bros who do all of this hard job, also Mossy Earth who supports them. And by the way, if you want to know more about this topic, they've made really good videos. Links will be in the description. Thank you for your attention and be brave to act.